Hello, welcome to Smart Excel users. And this video is going to be a continuation from my last video on dealing with errors. Now I have two Excel sheets <coughs> which look same to same, but I got some discount. You just want to know that where and each item which I got a discount and what is the ratio or percentage of discount I have got. <coughs> so I had made a comparison sheet for both these items. And uh, after I made a comparison, when I want to go to the same sheet again, it is giving me an error. Because Power Query is a bundle of errors. So the, the best thing is first close there and first check with your data type. In the first error, you can go and check how to check the errors is what I'm going to tell you in this video. So this is other codes which have been written for you. This is called in data monkey. You can see in the advanced editor that these are the codes which have been written for you. So if these codes are not in proper way, there is a chance that you will get an error. So you can see that now the data is in the proper section. So when you move on, there is, you can see, an error over here. So you can go one by one, but if you, can, if you want to check where is there, you can go steps by one by one. So you can see the steps here. So you can see still this step, there is no error, but after after the steps, we have error. So there is also chances that you can move the codes up, up and down. So if you want this to go up, you can also move this up. So you can see it has gone up and you can also click it and make in this order. So anywhere you can go up and down, I can move this up and down, but there will be some error because it has to go in the process. So this is where the way we can see the steps up and down. And even if you want, you can go to the click this setting button and check the codes also. So you can see the codes also in this proper manner. So now if you have an error and if you want to rectify the error, so you can see this is already in the beginning. So it is in the right format. So now if you want to see where is the error, so you can see the error is in the from here. So I can either go and I can remove from here or what I'll be doing is we can rectify the error from here. So what actually is the error for? So, so from here, let's see if you can see the error, but unfortunately the error cannot be seen. So I don't know what actually is the error because of, might be because when we made a sheet and this is the error here because it's making a comparison. So to rectify that, I can either go and remove from here. And now I can check one by one. So now there is no error over here. So either instead of making the whole sheets again and again, you can go step by step and try to get the things in the proper font but now you can see sheet one which i don't require so i can just menu, remove the sheet one from here and now this showing the table is empty so from here i can i have to either go one by one and remove this So anyhow, I'll be doing this, and this is will be a repetition. So I'll be transforming this and uh, removing the top rows. So I want to remove one because my data is in this one. So now I want to type each and every everything. So I will make this as a header, so automatically it will go on the header. So I'll be removing this and. Uh, So 
I would like to add one more thing from the beginning. So I'll take the name. So you can see that the, com the table was not there. Now when I added it again, the name, when I expanded the column, it's giving error because the name was not there. The name already exists. So I can remove this. So what I'll be doing is I'll be rectifying the error from here into the adding inside of process. So I want to have this it will be dot XLS. So I'll be making this into one. So now again there are errors. So it's better I remove all these columns. So I'll be removing one by one. You know why you get errors? If you write strong quotes in the beginning, there are the least chances you will get errors. So you should know how to write the quotes and uh, how to rectify the quotes in the from the from the Power Query codings. So if you don't know the codings, you keep on getting the errors. Now. I don't want this comparison sheet so I can just remove this from here but if I write a strong code in this I will not get these errors so how to write this code is I will be selecting these two I will remove other columns So I can add a column or I will start showing from the beginning. So when you are in this stage only, remove other columns and write a strong code. So the code will be like if Dot contains name, comma, alpha. then keep else delete now delete this and remove and write one more code Again, you can segregate this or you can write a code, but now I'm going to just segregate these items. So now I require this table and data. I'll remove other columns. And I'll be doing the same thing. So I'll remove.
so from here also we can remove the dot xls you can make this into custom make a dot which segregates in advance option make this into one one and do okay so now it will be proposal one and proposal two so you can see this is duplicating so you can go remove this two okay sorry this already is null so you can remove this remove this make this into render and now you can remove the null and serial number so as i showed you in the previous video how to remove these errors now if you want you can go you can go, go up and down but this will give you that now if you want i can go and i can keep this here but it's going to give an error so i should know how to bring it back so this is the way you can play around with your error data but if you know the coding well it is going to make your life more easy and the errors will be minimized so first error which will be whenever you remove a file when you remove a file just go to the main dead step and try to go onto the path and fix the path or if you have renamed the file try to copy and paste again and set it again so one by step by step you can check the codings and you can make out how to rectify the errors so i hope you find this video useful and uh, please wait for my next video and uh, thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel and please give me your comments on how to deal with errors and uh, how to make life more easy in power queries so so i'll be showing you on all, all those things and uh, keeping this don't discard this keep it and